quite the different picture today, Contra Valley. And no, this is sped up right now. That cloud cover taking its time as that instability makes its way in over the Contra Valley. Still seeing a lot of that mixing going on with that high pressure we were seeing yesterday as we're seeing those temperatures get up into those 80s despite that cloud cover. Now we made our way from those 80s down into those 50s and 60s. Still seeing that southerly flow pushing those clouds early this morning. Then making a good jump up into the 80s and we're cooling off already down into those 70s. Right now we're looking at the temperatures across the entire Contra Valley. 78 in San Angelo right now. Everybody else in a mixture of 80s and upper 70s, if not the lower 70s. And we're still looking for the hot spots and the cool spots today on this cloudy day as we're seeing the moisture return. Again, 80 down in Junction, 78 in San Angelo. That's about 2 degrees, if not 8 or 6 across the entire region right now. Always looking for the 10 as we make our way into the evening. And we'll see how things cool off under these cloudy conditions right now as the humidity is on its way back. Humidity indices around the 50s and those 40s, while the dew points are way up there in those 40s and those 50s. We're going to keep our eye out for any of those foggy conditions, but we're far away from it. We might see some rain, but it's going to clear out pretty quickly. Again, still dealing with those stronger upper level winds. We're keeping our eye out for the blues by Monday. Look how explosive this gets as we continue to see some of those drier temperatures off to the west. The upper level pattern giving you a better idea of how strong this is going to get. We're going to gradually see these winds continue to increase out of the southwest as that low pressure continues to take aim at the Concho Valley. Look how deep this is going to continue to push across the entire region. It elongates from Wisconsin all the way down to Arizona and New Mexico. That's where we're going to see those temperatures drop us into the 60s. And then right behind it, we're seeing some strange high pressure push in. And that's going to ridge us back up into those warmer temperatures once we make our way through the cold spell. Now, the satellite showing you right now where that low pressure, if not that frontal system, is going to continue to push through us. We're always on the tail end of those fronts. And we're going to see some dry air make its way in to clear those clouds out. But they're going to return very quickly as we see that low pressure getting ready to make its way down off the California coast. Now, the future cast is going to continue to show you how we're in that on off AM PM rain shower activity as we'll continue to see a lot of this long continuous cloud cover really build in and mix again watching the southwesterly flow push in with that Gulf moisture and then we're watching that cold air slowly sink in across Arizona as it makes its way towards the Concha Valley. This is Easter of course still dealing with those low clouds. It's going to look like it wants to rain but that upper level winds just too fast. Now as we continue to see these temperatures cool off down into the 50s tonight you're going to be seeing those pretty comfortable temperatures. We're just talking about how cold it is actually going to get as we continue to warm up towards the spring tomorrow looking like we're going to make our way into those upper 80s still seeing those gusty conditions with that cloud cover but take a look at the seven day forecast we're going to watch these temperatures as we make our way towards that first week of april we're in those 80s and those 90s overnight lows down into those 60s now we begin the week down into those 50s and 40s but that's about 10 degrees warmer when we talk about these cold plunges so we're on our way to warmer weather as we see well, those temperatures are going to rebound quickly very back up into those 70s if not pushing into those 80s by the end of next week where we're still keeping our eye on those lows where they go from 60s to 50s and down to the 40s. So we're still 10 degrees warmer. We'll take a closer look later. You're watching KSAN News.